Hello my dear students, welcome back to my channel Logic Flow. So in today's video, we will be discussing the important questions of those 9 chapters that what we discussed in the previous video. The 9 chapters for scoring 65 plus. So the green colored chapters are the important chapters. Let me list out first. Typical configuration, Boolean algebra, logic gates, data structures, basic concepts of O, so 5 chapters. Then classes and objects, 6th chapter. Inheritance, 7th chapter. SQL, 8th chapter. And web designing, 9th chapter. Totally 9 important chapters for scoring 65 plus. Plus 3 extra chapters it is. Function overloading, constructors and destructors and internet and open source concepts so totally it is 9 plus 3 12 chapters important questions i am discussing in this video so those who are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get the notification of all the new videos watch the video till the end do not skip the video and if you like the video please click on the like button and Comment your requirements in the comment box and also share the video to all your friends. Exams are nearing, 20th is your exam. Read this important questions, have a smart plan and score 70 out of 70. So let's get started. The first chapter which is typical configuration of computer system for 4 marks. You have the questions where you will have 3 marks questions like this. Explain the characteristics of motherboard, types of motherboard, what is slot, mention any two slots or they may ask you to write about any one particular slot. You need to write the difference between serial port and parallel port, types of bus, static RAM and dynamic RAM difference, what is cache memory, explain the different types of cache memory that is L1, L2, all those things. Explain UPS and its types that is standby UPS and online UPS or you may get a question on SMPS also. This is with typical. Next Boolean algebra you have 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5 equal 10 marks. 5 marks you all know you get a question from KMAP but these two questions or two marks the questions will be like this. Simple questions. Who introduced Boolean algebra? Other name of Boolean algebra is switching algebra. Who introduced Boolean algebra? George Boolean. And define tautology and fallacy, principle of duality, state and true involution law. I have given only one law here. You may get some other laws also. It may be indempotence law, complementary law, or associative law, distributive law, any other law. So you must be aware of all the laws. You need to write the statement with the expression. That is most important. The statement and the expression. And you need to prove that using truth table or algebraic method. Algebraic method is best method. If they mention with algebraic method, you have to go with algebraic method. Uh, if not, you can go with truth table also, but best is algebraic method. But statement is very important. Make sure you write the statement followed with the expression and the proof. Prove algebraically x plus xy equal to x. This is one of the absorption law. You may get some other absorption law or any other law for proof. So you have two questions for two marks. So any two, one will be some proof like this or the other one will be like some statement, some definition questions. State and proof, De Morgan's first theorem algebraically, you have to learn algebraic method only. Second theorem algebraically, applications, see some theory part questions like this. One may be theory, so you have two questions, right? One may be theory question and one may be some mathematical part like this, proof like that. Applications of De Morgan's theorem, define mean term and maximum, say again definition part. Define SOP and POS and the last one that I have added KMAP because you may get any KMAP but you usually get the SOP form of KMAP only. Learn all the methods of grouping and mapping. Okay. And I have discussed about the solution of the KMAP in the uh, previous video also that is in the passing package part 3. Please do refer that part 3. Passing package part 3. I have uh, explained the solutions of many KMAP. All the question paper questions I have solved there. You can go through there. Next, 
logic gates you have uh, 1 plus 3 equal to 4 uh, marks so 3 marks question it may be asking to write the truth table and logic symbol of and gate or it may be some other gate also it may be or not nand nor exclusive or or exclusive nor or you may get the question of realizing the output of the basic gates using only nand or using only nor or any circuit diagram right so go through that so as all these green colored chapters are important you have to go through these chapters completely i have mentioned the important questions the possible questions okay next data structures you have two five marks questions so one will be algorithm the other will be some theory part questions so the questions are like this totally 14 marks and even data structure is important chapter explain the operations on primitive data structures explain the operations on linear data structure or 1d array algorithm of binary search algorithm of insertion sort advantages of arrays or it could be disadvantages or it could be applications of arrays also you have to go through everything there explain the operations of stack data structure algorithm for push and pop maybe you think that push and pop is difficult once you practice that algorithm it is very easy please go through the algorithm of push and pop and applications of stack very easy theory part Operations of Q data structure, then algorithm for NQ and DQ. And even NQ and DQ algorithm also is very easy. Once you practice it, you have to write and practice. It will be easy. You can easily get it. You have to write those steps and easily you can score 5 marks. NQ and DQ algorithm. Applications of queues. Then uh, you have uh, the types of queues, different types of queues. Then types of linked list. Trees and graphs, you can simply go through the terminologies if required. Small, small definitions are there. You may just have a glance on those terminologies of trees and graph. So that is with data structure. Then we have basic concepts of O, the most easiest chapter. So you have 2 plus 5, 7 marks. So 5 marks questions are given here. Characteristics of O, advantages, disadvantages and applications. Very simple questions. Then classes and objects, it is totally 1 plus 5 equal to 6 marks. 5 marks questions are given here. Explain class definition with syntax and example. Explain class de declaration. Definition means defining data members and member functions. Declaration means declaring objects. Explain member function definition inside and outside the class with example. The most frequently asked question. Learn any example program of your lab cycle. That will be better. And even array of objects also is very simple. Just learn. I have discussed about all these questions with answers in the passing package video as well as in the uh, 65 plus video also. Please go through those previous videos. You will get a clear picture. Passing package, you have three videos. I have explained all these important chapters with answers, questions with answers. And even in 65 plus video also, I have discussed all these chapters questions with answers please go through those videos check out the playlist of second pu computer science then see till here it is important chapter then you have important chapter that is uh, inheritance i'll get back to that chapter later explain the types of inheritance with a diagram you need to write explain single level inheritance with an example program your lab cycle program itself you can write here Virtual base class, a very simple one. You don't have the complete program. You only have the concept, diagram and example. For that, you get 5 marks. Then SQL. See here, this SQL is for part E also, where you have to write SQL queries. So, you have to go through the SQL queries also, your lab activities. So, talking about the 2 marks question, it will be like this. Explain logical operators of SQL, any 2 logical operators or any other operators, arithmetic or any other. Sometimes data type is also asked. Explain any two DDL commands with syntax and example. So you must know how to write the DDL commands, DML commands, then DQL commands, all those things. DCL commands, all the commands you must learn. Explain any two SQL constraints they may ask. And note, one more thing that you need to concentrate here is, you need to learn the implementation of all the SQL commands for 5 marks. And the group function, single row functions implementation for 5 marks. This will help you for 5 marks. So this is one more important chapter. The last important chapter is web designing. So it is for 3 marks actually. See SQL is for 1 plus 2 plus 5 equal to 8 marks. 
where 5 marks will be for hot question in part E. You need to learn the implementation of commands. But for 2 marks, you need to go through all these simple questions. Right? Then web designing, it is 1 plus 3 equal to 4, 4 marks, 3 marks questions will be like this. It may be text formatting tags or sometimes they may simply ask a very simple question, the structure of HTML also. Right? Then basic uh, structure of HTML or basic tags, both are one and the same. Or it may be text resizing tags, web hosting and its types. Then uh, features of DHTML or it can be XML also sometimes they may ask you. What is web scripting and explain its type? This is with web designing. Right. So these are on the nine chapters, important chapters. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chapters. Extra three chapters are your function overloading. It is one plus five equal to six marks, where five marks questions will be like this. Explain function overloading with an example program. But with this function overloading, sometimes they may simply ask you to write, write uh, the features of function overloading or characteristics of function overloading. All the points of function overloading you need to go through. Right. Then uh, it can be explain inline function with an example program. Advantages, disadvantages and restrictions of inline function. There is one more question which is left out here. Explain friend function with an example program or they may ask you to write the features or characteristics of friend function so explain friend function you need to completely go through the friend function and inline function this question is very important advantages they may ask advantages or disadvantages or restriction that is when the inline function may not work so these are for five marks then the extra chapter is constructor and destructor you need to go it is again one plus two plus five equal to eight so you will have two marks question and five marks question also. You may get the rules of constructor. They may ask you to write the features of default constructor sometimes for two marks. Features of parameterized constructor for two marks. Mention the different methods of invoking parameterized constructor can also be asked. That is explicit, implicit and using equal to operator, initialization operator. Explain copy constructor with syntax and example. Rules of destructor. Explain destructor with syntax and example. So these are the possible important questions with constructors and destructors. Extra 2 plus 1 which is internet and open source concepts. For 3 marks you may get the uh, terminologies. They may ask you to write the definitions of few terms like OSS, open source software, flaws, G GNU, FSF, WW, Telnet, URL, web browser, web server, all those things. Then some proprietary software, freeware and shareware, they may write, ask you to give the examples of proprietary softwares, paid softwares. Then list also the free softwares or freeware and shareware also. Technologies used in e-commerce and the types of e-commerce. So this is with the extra three chapters. So totally we have done with 9 plus 3, 12 chapters, important questions we have discussed. But these 9 chapters, important questions are very much important. Plus, you need to go through the complete chapter. And these three extra chapters, you have to go through the extra questions also. Because if you want to score 65 plus, you need to go through 9 plus 3 chapters. Right. So, this is because these three chapters will help you for MCQ. And the remaining chapters which are, uh, that is, pointers, uh, data file handling, networking concepts, database concepts those uh, chapters topics i have discussed in mcq you can go through the mcq video if you want to go through the topics that what you need to refer right so this is what with the important question this is was this this video i have created on demand many uh, asked uh, many students asked to create a video on important questions so please go through these important questions it will help you a lot please Share these content, share the video to all your other friends also. And if you like the video, please click on the like button. Right. So that's all for today's video. Hope the these contents help you a lot for your exams. So go through the complete playlist of second PU computer science for your exam. Prepare well, score well. And uh, if you score well, please remember me and uh, new users
please subscribe to my channel and like the video share the video and put your comment for any type of doubt you have in the comment box so see you in the next video till then take care bye bye